everyone loves Plants vs. Zombies, a classic tower defense game where you use plants to kill zombies. Simple? Well, good. It's supposed to be. Not only is it simple in design, it is filled with tons of content, especially for the year it came out in 2009. And it's gone down as one of the best games of all time. And then someone ruined it! Hi guys, welcome to the Plants vs. Zombies bootleg by Nice Code. Everyone knows Nice Code, right? Right? I mean, you recognize this guy, right? They're in China? Okay, I'm joking, no one's heard of them. Anyway, they made a bootleg from Plants vs. Zombies and they put it on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Like all games should be. Every single awesome game was ported to the NES. Even someone ported, ported Doom to the NES, I believe, at some point. But then again, Doom's on anything, so like, what am I talking about? Anyway, my point is that since with a big name such as Plants vs. Zombies, you're gonna expect a quality title, right? Right? Friends, allow me to introduce you to the game that is bad. Oh no, I didn't expect a bad game, especially since it's the port of the, for Plants vs. Zombies, a naturally good game. Well, you, well, it's bad. It's like really bad. It hurts to play. It actually hurts to play. And I'm going to review it using five main points to grade it on. And I'm going to show you how each point makes it an awful game and an awful experience. One that you will never get back. One, controls. I have a problem with the controls. See, with console ports of Plants vs. Zombies, usually you, you had like this cursor that went around the grid, you know? You know, like, it went, it was like grid-based, and you like, went to a thing, got the, got the plant, and then you like, hover over a thing and placed it. Well, th these game creators were, s uh, nice code was so cocky that they decided to like, not implement good game design, and they just flat out gave you a cursor. Controlled by a D-pad! Have you ever controlled a mouse using a D-pad? It is hard, especially when the mouse goes a whole two miles an hour when you're trying to do super fast motions to kill all the zombies in time. <sighs> I think it's safe to say the controls suck. Okay, point number two, the artwork. The artwork is one of the shoddiest things I have ever seen. I mean, look at this title screen. Sure, it looks okay when you're like, when you're, when you have like no glasses on or like are just completely blind in some instances, but if you look at it, it's awful. It is terrible. I mean, there are like, you see that top, you see like the title where it says the game name? The name of the game and the, like, the plants and verses parts look alright. And then they're like, you know what, screw it, let's just, let's just make some lines and then color them in. And they did. And that's how the game looks. It's not good. Not even close. And also... The original Plants vs. Zombies had like this nice 2D style. Here is just a bunch. It feels like it's just a bunch of pixels. Nothing stands out. Nothing. Point number three: music and sound effects. The music is unchanging. There is, unlike Laura Shigihara's awesome soundtrack for the original Plants vs. Zombies. This is j apparently, according to my sources, 
is also just the music that played for another nice code game called Angry Birds. And yes, they ported Angry Birds to the NES. I'll get I'll get to that in a different video. But anyway, it's the same music, and it's our and it's a and it's just a song that goes like six seconds, goes for six seconds and then loops. You're gonna be you're gonna hate the song by the end. It's it sounds like it sounds so painful. I mean, my ears weren't bleeding, but like, it's so monotonous and it like really hurts to hear that when you're doing all this awful stuff in the game. Ugh. Also, sound effects? No sound effects. Nothing. The game, without the music, is just dead silent. There's nothing. Meanwhile, in like, the original game, there's a whole bunch of sound effects at play, like, for example, uh, picking up a seed slot, placing down a plant, getting- the zombies getting hit by said plant, the zombies eating said plant, you know, all this other stuff that makes it, like, that gives it life. And this is just dead. It barely feels like you're playing without any sound effects. For execution. It's awful, as I've said many times. But the ex I get that they're trying to, like, you know, use a popular brand and put it on another console that may be, like, more readily available to the, uh, demographic, even though Plants vs. Zombies came out in 2009, well after the NES was cancelled. So, yeah. And it's just, there's nothing- P Plants vs. Zombies stands out. It's like- it's right there. It's in your face. It's like good. It's crazy. Um, it's crazy how good it is. But the way this bootleg is designed is just terrible. Nothing. Nothing works. Everything sucks. And the execution just falls apart when you consider bugs, which is also my fifth. My fifth point. There are so many bugs. The, f the main one being that the zombies and other sprites in the game flicker all the frickin' time. There's no stopping it. It's like, there's... Usually that happens on the NES when there's too many sprites on screen. There's... If there's only one zombie on the screen, the s they will still flicker, no matter what. And I... S I don't get it. I don't... Get it? What's the deal? Like, what? How do you mess it up so bad? I can't understand it. Okay, there's also this- there's also a couple of other annoying bugs that, like, make- make it so annoying. For example, it usually takes 10 pea shooter shots to kill a zombie. In this one, it takes way more than that, and I would know because I placed a pea shooter around four tiles away from a zombie, and the zombie still killed it. It like was a powerhouse. It's like it- it's like it had a bucket head on. And not to mention, there are already bucket heads, which take forever to kill. And it's just so... annoying. Also, if- if there happens to be a sun behind a sun, and you collect the first sun, it shows like a little animatic showing that you got 25 sun. You know, it didn't do that in the original game, but whatever. You have to wait for that to go away to both use the sun, like the counter doesn't go up until that plus 25 goes away, and you can't get the sun behind it until that 25 goes away. Like, brr, are you serious? Come on, let me play the freaking game. <sighs> it's hard to believe that something like this exists. But then again, s there are a lot of things that are really h hard to see it existing in our world, and yet they exist. There's nothing we can do to stop it. And it's just hard to think of it that way. Anyway, 
I have ranted enough about this, and now my voice is dying. Thank you for joining me on my rant about this awful bootleg. If this gets enough attention, I may do a full-on series reviewing some terrible bootlegs. I have some in mind. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!